Hey y'all, what's going on? It's, it's time. It's time to do the cooking stream. I messed with all the things. I got all the things to work. It took some effort. I had to mess around with my computer for like hours to figure it out, but I figured it out. Hey, Papa. Also, hey, Chels, thanks for hanging out. My sister is hanging out with us uh, for this stream, which is a pleasant, uh, pleasant surprise. Um, but welcome in, Chelsea. And uh, Paul, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. And also, hi, Pry, Cloak, William. Echo. Echo, who, who redeemed the cooking stream. I already ordered the Taco Bell. I already ordered the Taco Bell. It is on it. It should be here in like 20 minutes. Um, so we should probably get started, right? We should probably get started. <laughs> um, oh, all right. So I just want to give you all a heads up. This isn't going to be the best. I'm using my phone for my camera in the kitchen, which you can see over here in this corner. Um, and the microphone that we have to use for this will be the, the microphone for my for my phone. It's not gonna be great. Um, I mess with it a little bit, so it's as good as I can get it, but if the audio is off, I need y'all to tell me, that way I know to fix it, right? Because I wanna continue doing these and I wanna make these better over time. So like, give me any feedback that you want to afterwards, um, but for now, I guess I'll just head to the kitchen. <laughs> This is it. This is the kitchen. Um, so I know that, again, the audio sounds really bad and I can see the chat like way over there. It's like on the television. I have it nice and big. So I can see it over there. Okay, I, this is, here, I'll do it this way. So y'all can see the kitchen. It's not much, it's just, it's a kitchen. There's my fridge and the place I cook my foods. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a super, this is gonna be super awkward at first because I've never done anything like this. And usually I feel like when I'm doing, when I'm like streaming, I feel like I'm talking to you guys, not at you guys. And right now I feel more like I'm talking at you guys because it's harder for me to see what's going on with the chat. Um, but I, I guess we'll get started. I'm no expert. I've only made these once before, but they turned out pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time and hopefully they turn out good again. We'll see. But if you want to make these, you need big, like the biggest burrito shells that you can find. They need to be like the biggest ones. That's the mistake we made last time. Uh, you need tostadas, which will be at the grocery store. Instapots are the best. Instapots are the best. I use my Instapot constantly. Like it's, it's my most used thing. It sounds good, but it's a delay. I'm sorry. This is the best I can do. I, I hope it's okay. I hope it's like, it's tolerable. I also have an air fryer over there. Um, but yeah, um, so you need the shells, you need a tomato. The fridge is gross, don't look in there. Um, ground beef, you gotta, or just any protein, whatever protein you wanna use. Uh, obviously we're gonna like season the, the beef and stuff, but I'm not gonna like get all that out. <laughs> what else? Am I forgetting something? Um, oh yeah, you need big cheese sauce, like queso. Oh. 
sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. And I guess I'll just like cook the things. Hold on, let me check the chat. This is weird. Taco Bell does not exist in the UK. I've never had an authentic crunch wrap, only ones I've made. Well, when you, you're gonna see that when it gets here that you're not missing out on too much because the crunch wraps here are usually disappointing, which is why we started making them. Air fryers are great too. Eight pounds of salt, 15 grams of meat, essence of tortilla. Okay, good morning, British chat. <laughs> um, you actually need two pans for this. One for your meat, and one for the for toasting the shells. I can tell you this much, if you cook chili in it, you'd better keep an eye on it, yeah. He made chili on it, on it, in the Instapot, and it, it burnt, it burnt up on the bottom. It was still really good, but it did burn. I am really struggling to open this right now. This whole stream is just gonna be me trying to open this stupid pack of hamburger. I can't get it! <laughs> Look, I pulled it off and there's another one there! What is, what is this? This is like a bad dream. Okay, all right. That struggle is over. Okay. Um, should I move the camera over to the, to the oven stove thing? I could have stabbed it, yeah, I probably should have, but I got it done. Um, should I move the camera so that y'all can see like this over here? Like where do, where should the camera be? Cause I'm gonna have to cut up a tomato here, there's the camera over there, is it good right here? What do y'all think? Either way, I'm gonna throw this on here. It's fine where it is, to be honest. Okay. It's all right, you haven't missed much, welcome in. I, like, I literally just put the meat in the thing. <laughs> like, that's it. Um, but yeah, so I, like, you can use, like, whatever protein you like in this. I like ground beef in my corn traps, so I just put a pound of ground beef in there on medium heat. Um, for this pan back here, We'll go ahead and turn it on now, like medium high, and there we go. So for, well maybe we'll hold off on that. We want the pan to be hot, but like at the end when we have to like grill the crunch wraps so like they, they close and they're crispy and they're good, we need to use that pan back there. Um, and you, like, it's good to use cooking spray because then, like, the shelves don't get all wet and soggy. This is just me speaking from experience. I, again, have no idea what I'm talking about because I've only done this one other time. But, I'll, I'll show y'all when we get there. I'm getting ahead of myself. Save me some tomato. I want, we, get, I, we have two tomatoes. We have two tomatoes. So there'll be plenty of tomatoes. Could tilt the camera, camera down a bit, cutting, but otherwise it's a good spot. Mm, okay. Well, we got this on here. This is gonna cook a little bit. Um, well, let's do that. We'll cook the tomato. Exactly, I agree. Now, I like using this little knife because 
We have a big knife that, that we like to use sometimes. But I don't feel comfortable with this knife because it's the size of my head. So I use the little one. And I'm no expert. I'm like no cutting expert. Like, legitimately. Okay. And like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna cut the tomatoes now so y'all can hang out. Sharp objects, be careful, all right? The knives are scary. You can hurt yourself. I cut my finger once really bad. That's why I like the little small knife. I feel like I'm in more control, even though the tomato is bigger than the knife, and it probably isn't, it's definitely not the best knife for this, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because this is the knife I like. This, this ground beef smells seasoned already for some reason. I don't understand why. There might have been maybe like... I don't do like crazy fancy seasonings. I literally just buy like a pre-made taco seasoning and then I add chili powder, tomatoes, or I'm sorry, um, jalapenos and garlic while it's cooking. That's like the only thing different I do. It's nothing fancy. You should use a serrated knife. It is serrated. It is serrated. It's just small little ones that you can only see with a microscope. So did I, and I haven't used my knife usage. You gotta use a big fancy cleaver for everything. That tomato looks so yummy. Tomatoes are great. Tomatoes are really good. Okay, let me <laughs> hurry up and wait, what just happened? Anna, hi, thank you for the gift subs. I really appreciate it, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I gotta season this. I waited too long. I like to season it before it gets too cooked. And a lot. I put a lot on there because I really like that. So yeah, I just get the pre-made taco seasonings and I put chili powder on there. Like that's, that's it. That's what I do. Um. Actually, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on here today too. Or garlic salt, sorry, not garlic powder. Um, and then now I know people that take cooking really seriously will get upset at me because I don't use fresh garlic and I just use I just buy a jar of, a big ass jar of garlic because we go through it so fast. Like I'll seriously go through one of these jars of garlic in like a month, two months. Like I just, I use a lot of garlic when I cook because garlic tastes fucking amazing. I'm sorry, language. Garlic, it tastes really good. Oh, I turned on the wrong one. I'm an idiot. I did not, I did not chop the meat up enough. It is too clumpy. I need smaller clumps. Okay. Uh, that should be good. Um, can y'all, can y'all even see, do I need to move anything? Pre-made taco seasoning makes it taste good. It does make it taste good. <laughs> and thank you again, Anna, so much for the gift subs. I don't know how many you gifted, but it sounded like a lot, so thank you very much. It's gonna play every sub note. 
Oh, could y'all hear me though? Oh, the sub sound is really loud. Okay, that's something I didn't think about. <laughs> to be honest, y'all's kitchen, just on the fact it's bright and colorful, ours is gray and sad. <laughs> oh, you can hear me, okay, good. All right, um, honestly, like, the meat's almost done. Like, I just throw in a scoop, of, like, I use, I, I buy the big, like, garlic, minced garlic, because I just, I use a lot, and I just throw a whole spoonful in there, because it's delicious. Jalapenos, jalapenos, um, a bunch. How many ever some jalapenos your heart desires? I like a bunch. I'm pretty sure they just dropped off the crunch wrap. Okay, that should be enough jalapenos. Jalapenos and the garlic. Um, I like to crunch up the or chop up the, the jalapenos too because I like little bits of jalapeno in there. Wow, this is like super greasy. Like, we got all our stuff from Target today because I needed to run to Target and get a, a tripod. And I was like, well, we might as well just grab the ingredients I need while we're at Target. And everything was, like, super expensive. And this hamburger meat is super greasy. So maybe don't buy your taco ingredients from Target. I don't think Target's ground beef has particularly more grease than normal. But, um... <laughs> It was more expensive. Okay, this is just about done. I just need to cut up the vegetables. Uh, we can hear you gotta eat all the garlic. We, I mean, we really like the garlic, it's really good. Hey there, is it Vixen? Hi Vixen, welcome in. Zion is watching with me. Okay, yeah, like I said, I gotta be careful about my language. <laughs> I had to be a picky eater and I feel like if I started experimenting with more cooking, I would like a lot more. Yeah, because you try a bunch of new things. If you're, you're only picky because you haven't found more things that you like. Don't buy anything from Target. Eh, uh, yeah, that's also fair. We get ours from Kroger, so it's cheaper and not bad in terms of quality. We usually go to Hy-Vee, just because it's like the local grocery store, but like, we needed to go to Target so I could get the tripod. Isn't greasy normal for taco meat? Uh, yeah, but it's usually not this greasy. It's like way more greasy than usual. It's hard to find good meat that isn't expensive, but it's easy to find bad meat that's crazy expensive. Yeah, I see this, I see this. All right, uh, I'm just gonna finish cutting up the tomato since the meat's basically done. It's just, and I think the crunch wrap might be here. I don't know, I have no idea because I get all my notifications on my phone and I get my phone right now. Also, hey Wolf, welcome in. Than I'd like them to be, but that's because it was a big Roma tomato. It was really big for a Roma tomato. Um, 
I'm for sure setting up to cut myself here. Live on camera for all to see. A dog is going crazy out there and I think it's because, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I think it's because the crunch rep might be here. But when I looked out there, I didn't see anybody. All right. That's, that's enough tomato pieces and they're small enough. Don't laugh at my, my cutting, all right? I was just very relaxed when I cut because I don't want to cut myself. Wi-Fi acting up on me. One sec, no problem. I was pushed to buy stuff and I hated it. It's never good when you get pushed to buy things because then it's like immediate buyer's remorse. I heard the notification go off, but I don't know what happened. You should be relaxed when you cut stuff. Shouldn't take a lot of force unless you've got a dull knife. Yeah, well, I am very relaxed right now. I'm not like trying real hard. Thank you for the host, AJ, I appreciate it. Chris said try not buy. Try not buy? I, I know. Try not buy? Wait, what? <laughs> I was pushed to try stuff and I hated it. Oh, not buy stuff, try stuff. What were you forced to try? I was still stuck on the other conversation. Oh, I, no. Yeah, I was still stuck on the other conversation. And I'm a little distracted about missing the crunch wrap from Taco Bell. Look, the tomato is just falling down. It's just falling over. It's fine. Whatever, dude. You gave up. You gave up too easy. This is what you deserve to be caught. Up. <laughs> this is really mean. I'm not gonna talk that poorly about this tomato. What if it purpose purpose purposefully spoils its flavor and then it ruins the crunch wrap? Have you ever had a crunch wrap with bad tomatoes? That's like half the time when you go to Taco Bell. Yeah, the meat's like done. The meat's basically done. There's the taco meat, or the crunch wrap meat, with the jalapenos and the garlic and its deliciousness. But like I said, it is a little more greasy than usual. All right. Come on, tripod, you can do this. I believe in you. All right, good job. Okay. Um. As a small kid, I loved eggs and I got older. And as I got older, they just sickened me now. Eggs? That's a ran That's a very random thing. Eggs are great. I use eggs all the time. My sister went from eating meat all the time to almost vegan. That's a big change. We're gonna turn this meat all the way down on low so it can just simmer. <laughs> Thanks, AJ, I appreciate it. Green beans, casserole, soda, eggs, a bunch of weird meals. Mm. Okay, also welcome in Yuki. I'm gonna run downstairs real quick and check and see if the crunch wrap got dropped off. So I'll be right back. It did. It did get dropped off. It is here. See, look, Taco Bell. That's not blocking the camera, right? All right. <laughs> that really only just leaves assembling the crunch wraps, uh, which is the easy part, kind of. All 
All right, um, before we start putting this thing together, this is, let me move this. Yeah, I didn't like that it was visible at all. That, was, that wasn't for me. All right, um, before we start assembling this, we gotta prepare the other pan. Uh, I've had it on medium, medium high heat, so it's been warming up. yesterday. That was nice. Helped me find a hundo and a shiny. Hundo wasn't on my account, but I digress. Well, congrats on the shiny and the 100 IV Pokemon. William, William is at work, so I'm gonna have to make another one for him when he gets home. But I wasn't about to like, yes it was olive oil, but I wasn't about to, um, actually we have a spoon over here we can use. I wasn't about to do this stream at like, Midnight when he gets home. Okay, so you just put a couple spoonfuls of meat on here. God, I hope this turns out okay. And by a couple, I mean four or five. Okay, because we're gonna make some nice sized crunch traps. Like that. And then add your tostada. What do we want to add next? Probably the queso, which I can't open because of course I can't open it. My hand's just slipping. I can't get it. I seriously can't open this. I'm not gonna be able to finish preparing the crunch up because I can't open the case though. <laughs> okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> Maximum effort. Okay. I beat my white Nuzlocke while under leveled and have now started my food name theme black two Nuzlocke. Nice. Food, food name themes are always fun. Always fun. All right, let's put the, oh. I've never bought this queso before and I'm not, I'm not pumped about it. <laughs> I am not pumped about it. <laughs> I hope this cheese doesn't suck. <laughs> Our cheese. I'm not gonna put too much because the cheese doesn't look too appetizing. But I didn't want to get Tostitos because Frito Lay sucks, so. I used to open Caso? Caso? Queso? Are you, do you mean queso? I'm assuming you mean queso. On the regular, since I eat chips and salsa con queso. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, so you are saying queso. Can't go on, can't go wrong with Tostitos con queso. I mean, that's what I was saying is like, Tostitos is good, but like Frito-Lays kind of sucks. Um, okay, then sour cream. Which, 
which I like, so I'm gonna do a decent amount. <laughs> Look, we got a cool little spiral of sour cream. It's perfect. Could y'all see that? Was that even? There you go. That's it. That's all you're getting out of me. Um, I guess we could add the tomatoes now. Like the order that you like put this stuff on here, like isn't important. <laughs> it's not important at all. Actually, I'm gonna put the hot sauce on it now. And you know what? The reason why Taco Bell crunch, Taco Bell food's always so good, and I always sit, me and William always talk about this. Is not the reason I'm going to lose this competition. I have Taco Bell hot sauce here. I will not be defeated by the hot sauce. We are putting it on our crunch wrap before we fold it. Just to pack it. That should be enough. Is that a bag of sour cream? Oh no, it's not a bag. It's like a, just a stand up pouch that you can squeeze out. <laughs> Instead of putting sour cream in a plastic bag and squeezing it out like that, which is what some people do, the sour cream is key. Yeah, sour cream is amazing. Okay, um, lettuce and cheese, and then I gotta do, uh, then the hard part, the hardest part of this whole thing is grilling the shell. Shredded lettuce because I'm too lazy to cut my own. You can judge me if you want. I don't care. <laughs> but not too much because we gotta fold this thing still. And then cheese, and I love cheese. So we're gonna put a bunch of cheese on there. Okay. Now I might put a little bit of queso around the edges, just so it seals up a little bit better. Which is something I did not do last time. Or I did do this, I'm sorry, I did do this last time. Uh, but with sour cream and not queso. Okay, there's lettuce on the spoon. All right, lettuce is off the spoon. This is the hard part. <laughs> we might need an extra, so I have these small shells from last time I tried this and I got the shells that weren't big enough because I was learning. Um, we could probably do like half of one of these or a quarter of one of these is what I think pasta that they do. And then you gotta fold it up. And this is the hardest part is getting this to look good. And it looks pretty good. The queso is melting out or seething out, and I'm not crazy about that, but. All right. Let's see how this goes. We gotta set another pan on it to keep it weighted down. gonna turn out pretty good, I think. Uh, I'm pretty confident this is gonna turn out really well. We have bags of wine. Oh, we do have bags of wine, it's true. Alright. Oh god, this turned out so good, y'all. The comparison. So this is the final product. This is my crunch wrap. Looks pretty good, right? It turned out 
turned out pretty good. <laughs> Alright, this is the enemy. The enemy crunch wrap. Oh, come on. Come on, look at this. Look at this sad little thing. Look how skinny that is. Look at this. There's a side by side comparison. I don't know if y'all can see. Look how weak sauce. Look how weak sauce. Alright. Um, I'm gonna do two things. First, I'm gonna take a bite out of it fresh. Uh, maybe y'all can hear if it's crunchy or not. I don't know. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like with a bite. <laughs> okay. All right. Those who have not had Taco Bell, you're going to learn why it's always like playing roulette when you go to Taco Bell. Look. Look at that. There's no ingredients in there. It's just a shell and some queso. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was five dollars. All right, now I'll take a bite of mine. Which this mic isn't gonna pick up the crunchiness. But look at the inside. Let me take a couple more bites, because it's delicious. It's turned out so good. Like, holy shit, it turned out good. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And we'll, we'll take a couple more bites of this one so y'all can get a better look. Look at that. I bit all the way across, there's no food. There's like nothing in there. That's a sad crunch wrap. <clears throat> um, let's use Big Knife real quick. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Is it like this all the way through? All right, I cut it at the halfway point, and that's what it looks like. It's sad. It's so sad. It is such a sad, sad thing. And this thing's delicious. So that's it. That's the cooking stream. Almost everything in that corn trap of yours makes me want one. It's delicious. It turned out so good. It turned out so good. It's Taco Bell. This is like the problem with Taco Bell. It's like sometimes you get it and it's the best thing you've ever had. And sometimes you get it and it's this. It's just gross. It's like I'm just throwing this away. And I feel bad that I'm wasting food, but like no one wants to eat this. This is sad. It's like soggy and it's falling apart in my hands. It was for the comparison and I tipped the delivery person $3, which was almost as much as I paid for the crunch wrap. And I felt like that was decent. I should have tipped them five. I'll increase their tip to five because I feel bad, but I feel like that's pretty good, right? <clears throat> now cook five more things. Y'all can also try making them at home. That's why I walked through the steps. This is why I redeemed food stream. Like, look at that. Seriously, I'm so proud of how good that looks. You can see all the ingredients, the cheese. The cheese is nice and melted. The queso didn't ruin it like I thought it would. It's really good. This is way better than the last time I made them. Because last time I made them, they were basically big quesadillas. With a tostada in the middle. Because the, the shells weren't big enough.
Make make your own crunch wraps and post pictures on the Discord. There you go. That's ex perfect. Perfect. This turned out so good. So what's the next thing we're gonna cook? Also, I need water. <clears throat> The queso is Newman's own, which I've never used before. So I got it on the crunch wrap. I could do fried rice. I know how to make fried rice. Of course you do. Of course you. Well, he can't hear me. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang out and eat this. Um, and then we'll stream something else, like Unite or something. But this was fun. This was a lot of fun. I was so nervous about this. I thought it was gonna go terrible, but like, it turned out so good in the crunch wrap. I was like, oh God, I, I'm gonna cook in front of everyone. I'm gonna look like an idiot and it's gonna turn out terrible. But these tur this turned out really good. I am really proud of this. And now it's all over my face. <clears throat> Which, you know, that's that's great. I have I I have to make him crunch wraps because we have so many leftover um ingredients that I need to use. Like we still have all these tomatoes. We got a bunch of meat too. My proudest meal is when I was made is when I made chicken on rice with fried potatoes. Sounds pretty good. What is yeah? What is everyone's like most? What is what is the most proud of you've ever been of like something you've cooked yourself? What meat was it? This is honestly too much food. My homemade grilled cheese got it perfectly crunchy. Nice. Hey, grilled cheese can be tricky. That's impressive. This honestly surpassed my expectations. <clears throat> this is better than what I made. Quesadillas with just cheese, and that was pretty good. It's totally fair. I've made pasta and actually made the pasta. Well, itself, that's really cool. That's something I've never done before. Don't you need like one of those pasta roller things, you know? You get your dough or whatever, you just slap and then you just and it pumps up the stuff. Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm not much of a cook. Cooking is not for me. I have fun with it. I think it's 
I am not the best cook, but I have fun doing it, and 90% of the time when I cook something, I enjoy it. Um, so I feel like that's that's an overall win, right? I'm so full. But I threw out like half of the crap. <laughs> <clears throat> And I'm not gonna waste any more. You only need it for certain types of pasta, but my uncle does have one of those this next Oh, perfect. The best part of that was because it was my first time frying a potato. I gotta eat this because I throw out half a crumb trap now and I don't wanna waste any more but like it's so much food still. Like that's so like that's a big food. Like look at all that cheese! Pesto and sour cream, which is always like super delicious. Half of my family is a great time. Mm. Uh, you just you had to make your pasta. Home. <clears throat> Experience required, right? I was discouraged the first time burning on a camping trip. Yeah. It's like now seems to be the little car. Hold on. <laughs> We'll switch back to this camera. Maybe it'll make it lag less. I'm gonna shut down the uh, camera stuff with the phone. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> is it is the stream better now? Thank you for the stream a food stream. Of course well you well first of all you redeemed it. First of all you redeemed it. So I didn't have a choice. But I had a lot of fun. That was way more fun than I thought it would be. I was super nervous, like I said. Um, let me pause the music real quick. Okay, so the weird background noise seems like it's gone. Um, let's adjust all the audio levels back to normal. There we go. I'm glad you liked it, Chelsea. Thank you so much for coming to hang out for that. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. <clears throat> Maybe if I cooked with someone, it'd be different. Well, cooking with y'all was fun. Just getting to talk to y'all while I did it made it more fun. Uh, and I look forward to doing more of those. Um, I, the comparison thing was fun, too. I wouldn't mind doing more of those. Nice dye lamp. Thanks. My D20. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not done streaming tonight. I'm going to keep streaming. I don't understand video games, but I get the cooking. Well, I'll let you know in the future when I do more cooking streams. <laughs> um, because they're like, people in the community can request them. Like, when people hang out in the community and they watch a lot, they get what's called channel points. And there are, you can redeem your channel points for different things based on what I put in my little chat. And cooking stream is one of those things. And that was the first time someone redeemed the cooking stream redemption. So I was super, super excited to do it, but also super nervous. The comparison would have been slightly more fair if Taco Bell knew how to make food. That's true. It is expensive. It is expensive, but <clears throat> the things are expensive because, well, that was an hour. We just did an hour of stream, you know? And I made I made fun traps and it was fun. And I don't know, it was just, I see you did your own form of earthing, but inside. <clears throat> what do you mean? I'm confused. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> that was almost an hour. <clears throat> and it was fun, it, it was really fun. And I hope that I get to do more of those in the future. Um, if y'all stick with ordering anything on Taco Bell menu, <laughs> I can do that all day because that's like what I cook more than anything. Um, obviously that's not what I expect though. Oh, you are barefoot, yes. <clears throat> well, I always walk around barefoot in my house. <laughs> uh, okay. I am going to throw up the Be Right Back screen. I'm going to go clean up the mess in the kitchen. It'll take me 5-10 minutes. Uh, and then when I come back, I'm probably going to play like Pokemon Unite or something. Something chill for the night. <clears throat> so if y'all want to hang out for that, cool. If not, I understand. I appreciate everyone who hung out in the meantime, though. And Anna for the gift subs. That was amazing. Um, let's go through the whole list of Taco Bell menu items. Do we, do we want to do that? We can totally do that. Oh, you mean with the redemptions. <laughs> that could be- th that could be fun. That could be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw up the Be Right Back screen, go clean up the mess real quick. Um, that way I can preserve the ingredients so that when William gets home it'll still taste fresh. Uh, and when I get back, probably play Pokemon Unite or something. I don't know, we'll talk about it. 